What's up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. We've got Luna here, the star of the show, out today. And today we want to make you guys a quick video about some exercises that you can implement into your Jack Russell Terrier's routine. We're going to give you six exercises and why exercise benefits these dogs so much. You guys, if you're new here to the channel, this channel is specifically designed for new terrier owners to learn how to take care of their terrier owner in the best fashion possible. So if that interests you or you just like fun videos about these terriers, be sure to subscribe down below. Otherwise, let's get right into the video. We're starting right now. All right guys, as promised, we're gonna cover six exercises that you can use with your Jack Russell Terrier, just in case you've been struggling a little bit to find that perfect exercise to either wear out your dog, just get them out and about, or to find an exercise that you enjoy actually doing with your Jack Russell. Clearly a lot of factors go into this. It can be tough to pick one of these exercises based on weather, how much time you have, and if your Jack Russell behaves well while doing them. But nonetheless, the six we're gonna cover here today are pretty basic, relatively easy. They get the job done. And depending on the weather, you'll be able to pick and choose which one makes the most sense for you and your Jack Russell Terrier. All right guys, so let's jump into exercise number one, which is just simple walking. If you wanna take your Jack Russell Terrier for a walk as their primary exercise, there's nothing wrong with this. They're going to enjoy it just as much as any other exercise that we put on this list, as long as it has a little bit of duration to it or a long enough distance. The only thing I recommend for you is if you wanna use walking as one of your primary exercises, is to make sure that if it's too hot out, you obviously don't overdo it, or if it's too cold out, you don't need to go too far. You also wanna focus on things like socialization. You know, Luna here hates whatever she sees bicyclists. She's not a big fan of cars, but the more that they get exposed to these kinds of things, the better. So you can do one of two things. You can either specifically try and work on that part of socialization with your dog, or you can avoid areas where that takes place all the time. So don't go on busy roads or trails where people use bicycles and you won't have to deal with it at all. And of course you want the proper gear. So I have a video that I recommend. I will drop the link in the description below, but it is about the harnesses and the leashes that I find that work the best for a Jack Russell Terrier. Be sure to check that out because when you guys do put one of these little guys in a harness, it makes a dramatic difference on how easy they are to control. I understand they're a lightweight dog and there's not much to it, but they still like to pull. They do have a hunting instinct, so whenever they catch a sniff of a rabbit in a neighbor's yard, they are prone to want to kind of pull and go towards it. So work on those things as well. Exercise number two, guys, is just one step up from walking and it's taking your dog for a run. I will also put a link in the description below to my video specifically about running with Jack Russell Terriers. It does take a little bit of time to get them used to the cadence keeping up with the pace that you're going, but they learn it really fast. I would say that they make one of the best running dogs that you could potentially even exercise with, and that is definitely going to wear them out. So it is a great activity you should choose. This one, I do recommend though, that you do pick kind of a more quiet neighborhood or setting to do your running with because it's not necessarily that you don't want to deal with the distractions, but you're also trying to get your exercise in, right? So when you're running compared to walking, it's a lot more difficult and annoying to stop and try and coach them through that socialization process. Like, hey, don't bark at people or don't chase that rabbit. Again, it's not that you don't wanna do those things or that it's lazy, it's that typically when you're running, you're in a more physical mood yourself. So do you really want to stop running six miles an hour every, you know, quarter of a mile or two tenths of a mile just to try and teach them a little obedience up to you if you're okay with that go for it if not pick a quiet area and run you can do a couple miles you could probably do up to five miles no problem at all luna here has been on several one to three mile runs as long as they have some water before and after they're perfectly fine and they love it and it tuckers them out for later in the day to behave even better always has to get her kisses in all right, number three, again, guys, it's super simple, but take your Jack Russell rollerblading. It's another cadence type exercise, right? So they do need to get used to how to stay right next to you. And I nearly guarantee that if you do it for the first few times, the, even the blades or the wheels spinning on the rollerblade themselves, it's gonna 
give them a little bit of a scare. They're going to have to kind of get used to that sound of of the roller blade going through the pavement. But guys, if the weather is nice, roller blading is enough. <laughs> Nap time for Luna. But guys, if the weather is nice, roller blading is another great activity you can do. It's going to be very physically demanding on your Jack Russell, which is not a bad thing. As long as you don't overdo it, obviously, you don't want to put them in any kind of risk. And you don't want to do it when they're too young and their, their bones and their joints are still growing or trying to mature. But once they've reached more of a full grown status, you can certainly include roller blading into your routine. Which leads me directly into number four, which I think is probably more popular than people think, but Take your Jack Russell cycling. You use a bicycle, they use an attached lead. They specifically make leads that attach to like your waist that are meant to only give a little bit of slack or, or just enough to where things like that are possible. But people in our area, we live right by a Constitution Trail here, and people in our area do it all of the time with their dogs. As long as the dog is physically capable of running at a decent speed or cadence of, you know, four to six, seven miles an hour, it's a perfectly viable exercise that you can do with them. Another one that's going to tucker them out, which again, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to cover why these things are important as well. But don't forget about cycling. It's another great exercise. It's good for you and your Jack Russell. Plus, you can have a little bit of fun while you're doing it. And guys, my next one, number five, is for all of you watching that may enjoy getting out of the lake, you may enjoy boating, maybe you do some camping. But as long as you expose a Jack Russell or socialize them to water early, they are not bad swimmers and they will enjoy a pool. They will enjoy the water. You can play some water fetch with them or some water games. But again, if they've never been around the water, they might be a little bit timid at the beginning. Socialize them to it, get them used to it, take it kind of slow. You can invest in things like a doggy life jacket to make sure it's safe for them or they have nothing to worry about. But swimming is another great exercise good full body workout for your Jack Russell. Gets them moving around, tuckers them out, keeps them happy and healthy. Apparently she doesn't want me to talk right now. But again, simple, easy, and you can have a lot of fun while you're doing it. Another one guys is going to be the most simple of them all, which is just take them out in the backyard and play some fetch with them. These dogs, I don't know, you know, what kind of toys you've purchased for your Jack Russell. I can tell you that you should have plenty of them, but you could throw a stick, you could throw a tennis ball, you could throw whatever you want and they will go get it. They love to run their zoomy laps. They run to, they love to just run in circles for no apparent reason at all other than they're crazy. It's just something they like to do. So if you don't have the time or you don't like to run or walk, that's not what this video is about. It's not about finding ways for you to get fit with your dog. It's about finding ways for them to exercise and have fun with it. If you can get that benefit while providing them exercise, obviously that's a win-win, but if you don't feel like doing all the rest of them, go outside and throw something to them. Make them bring it back to you. Teach them the two things that they need to know how to play fetch, which is go get it and bring it back. Very simple. They still get a good workout in. It's still fun for your dog. It's still a bonding experience and it's easy. So consider that as well. And guys, as promised, I wanted to not only cover some of these exercises and give you some, you know, potential ideas that you could use, but the important thing to understand about this isn't necessarily which exercise you choose. It's understanding that these dogs, these Jack Russells, they need it in some fashion. Like I've said in tons of video guys, if you have a fence in yard, more power to you. Just let them run around out there. That's fine if you don't want to get involved with it, but they need to be doing something just to release some of that energy. Not to mention guys, it is part of the socialization process with these guys. A simple walk around the neighborhood exposes them to a lot of those things we've already discussed, like vehicles, people on bicycles, children, people on their front lawns. Yes, it is a pain sometimes in the beginning. Yes, a new Jack Russell is going to bark or be scared or do things that make it look like you have the least obedient dog on the block, but the only way something gets better is with repetition. So it is absolutely needed. I know that our lives are busier than they've ever been. Thank you to COVID, but listen, the world isn't going to slow down. So you got to find ways to get out there with your dog. You got to find ways to still get them to socialization. If you want to reap all of the benefits of owning one of these guys, it's just something you have to do. And not to mention guys, when you put all of these things together and kind of sum it up into a quick summary is all of this creates better behavior, creates more of a calm demeanor. It gets that nervous energy out of them. 
she's completely asleep right now, snoring. It gets that nervous energy out of them, guys. It keeps them healthy, increases their lifespan. It just makes them a happy dog. They want to do it, you should do it as well. Which, speaking of that, guys, be sure to leave some of your favorite exercises that you do with your Jack Russell down in the comments below. We absolutely love to hear from you guys. So wait, I know that if Luna wants to wake up here, she loves to hear from you guys too. I did see that we recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you to everybody who has been along this journey with us to get to that point. That is awesome. We're happy to have so many people watching Luna and I discuss these awesome dogs. Again, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. That way you can catch every new video every Tuesday and Sunday when they are released. And be sure to give us a thumbs up on these videos, guys. It helps us immensely get seen by the YouTube algorithm so that more people that need help with their terriers are exposed to our content. And of course, the same can be said about when you head over to terrierowner.com. T-E-R-R-I-E-R-O-W-N-E-R.com. That is the blog for this YouTube channel. They go hand in hand. When you go type that into your web address bar, it helps us get seen on Google more by Terrier Owners as well. So do us a favor, head over to the blog, check out some of the frequently asked questions about these dogs. Otherwise, guys, be sure to check out the video coming out on Sunday. We hope you have a happy new year, happy 2021. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.